डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर रणदीप सिंह मेडिकल ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट एंड कैंसर स्पेशलिस्ट हेडिंग द डिपार्टमेंट एट नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल गुरुग्राम टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्मॉल सेल लंग कैंसर व्हिच इज अ वेरी अनकॉमन टाइप ऑफ लंग कैंसर वी हैव यूजुअली टू टाइप्स ऑफ लंग कैंसर non small cell lung cancer the common one and small cell lung cancer the uncommon one but not very rare we definitely if we see 10 cases of lung cancer then at least one or two are small cell lung cancer apart from various causes of lung cancer smoking is one of the most important cause and smoking is very strongly associated with small cell lung cancers Uh, i have seen in my patients that if someone is suffering from small cell lung cancer then 85 to 90% have a very strong history of smoking the diagnosis of small cell lung cancer is almost same as any other lung cancer and with the help of uh, bronchoscopies biopsies and pet scan we usually diagnose this type of cancer when we do a biopsy at that time we are not very sure whether it is a small cell or a non small cell lung cancer but when we send it to the pathology lab they do a special test called as ihc immunohistochemistry and that test differentiates small cell and non small cell lung cancer uh, this is a very aggressive type of lung cancer and it is usually in uh, divided as a limited stage when the disease is within the chest wall and it is in early stages and extensive stage when the disease is spread within the chest wall to a large extent or it is spread to other parts of the body because it is an aggressive cancer by the time we diagnose this cancer 80 to 85% of them are already having an advanced or extensive stage of small cell lung cancer now in limited stages early stages very few patients are fortunate enough that they are diagnosed in a first stage and then they can undergo chemotherapy surgery and radiotherapy usually when this disease is advanced they are diagnosed at that stage and the treatment is with chemotherapy the drugs which are used are cisplatin etoposide and irinotecan now in extensive stages from last 2 to 3 years there have been a very important role of immunotherapy and immunotherapy is added to chemotherapy to have a better control and slightly longer control of this type of cancer but because this is a very aggressive cancer and when it is diagnosed in advanced stage you have a limited life span of around 1 to 1 and a half years and unfortunately this tumor responds beautifully to chemotherapy and immunotherapy but there is a very high chance that once you have been treated it can relapse or it can come back also while treatment we have to take care that this cancer has a very uh, large chances i mean a very major chances that it can spread to brain and we always remember we also do preventive brain images and preventive radiotherapy to the brain once the disease in the extensive stage is controlled such as in the chest wall and other parts of the body we give preventive radiotherapy which is also called as prophylactic cranial irradiation to the brain